ReefMaster SPA multi-parameter water quality testing machine supports concentration detection of seawater CA, MG, KH, NO2, NO3, PO4, and remote control by app, Kamoa Remote, also can view the real-time values and historical records of the sensor. Alarms for abnormal detection values are pushed, and the detection results and status can be viewed on the HD display screen. In addition, Dosen Pump F4 Pro and Calcium Reaction Pump FXSTP can be controlled in a linked manner to automatically adjust water quality parameters. This is Reef Master SPA. It has a display screen on the front and a light bar that lights up during detection. Inside is the reaction chamber. There is a transparent cover on the side, and inside is the pump head and the valve head that fixes the tube line. These parts behind the main machine is the pump tube connector. This is the power cord. This is the connector for connecting E1 module. This is the power adapter. This is the pump tube to be connected. Each tube is marked with the name of the corresponding connector. This is the detection liquid. First, we replace the original bottle cap. Change to the bottle cap with pump tube. Then connect one end of the corresponding tube line to the detection reagent. The other end of the pump tube is connected to the host according to the corresponding name. Connect the power supply. This is a waterproof protective cap for the power cord. Click on Kamoa Remote App. Click to add device. Choose Reef Master SPA. Choose a network to which you can connect. Input password. Click Next. The connection is successful and the device is successfully connected to the network. Click to start. After confirming the reagent, click Add Reagent to the app. Click Scan Code. Scan the QR code on the bottle. Determine reagents and volumes. Click Add. After scanning the QR code to add all reagents, click Done. Click I have connected tubes. It is necessary to fill the tube lines for the first time to prevent air from entering. You can select the pipeline that needs to be filled and click Fill after selecting it. Shown in Fill. 1. Status. After filling is completed, back to the home page and see the status. It shows the test data of each parameter and the remaining capacity of the test solution. Data comparison details. Click to view the detection history data in week or month. Here you can select the parameters you want to view individually or in combination. 2. Test. The second module, test, is divided into manual and scheduled modes. In manual mode, Manually select the elements to be detected and trigger detection to start detection. The two reaction volume bins can be tested individually or simultaneously. Test all below each group means that the elements of the current group will be tested once in order. Schedule mode is the planning mode and it is also the automatic mode. Click the lower right corner to enter edit and group the detection plan. Click to enter the first group and select the detection element. When it is raised, it is selected. The plan cycles on a weekly basis and can be set at most every day. Tested 24 times. Select a time period for element detection and click copy to other days to copy the current day's plan to other days. After the settings are completed, click save and you will automatically return to see the set plan. Continue to click edit to continue setting the second set of element plans. After the settings are completed, click save. In the lower left corner is an immediate detection function. You can select the element to be detected or test all. If detection settings and detection plan in schedule are turned off, the set plan will not be available. When the redetection function is turned on, if the detection value is significantly different from the last detection value, redetection will be triggered. We can set the trigger value for redetection here. If you don't need this feature, 
Click close. Detection interval means that no alarm will occur if the detection value is within this range, and an alarm will occur if it exceeds the range. The detection interval can also select an interval range. 3. Settings. In the settings module, name depend on you. Serial number, one number per machine, cannot be modified. Firmware upgrade indicates that it is the latest version. If there is an upgrade later, it will prompt you to upgrade to the new version here. Maintain. After entering, the first step is to fill the pump tube, which we need to do when we use it for the first time. Run pump. Click empty all liquid in tube. Before emptying, unplug the other pipes of the waste liquid pipe from the machine. You can follow the diagram to prevent the liquid from flowing back. Click empty again, and the waste discharge will automatically stop. Return. Click run to stir. The percentage here is the stirring speed, which we can adjust. Click empty to empty the waste liquid. Usage guide. Novices can start using the machine for the first time and follow the instructions. Threshold refers to the detection safety range value, which can be set by yourself. If the detection value is too high or too low, the system will issue an alarm. Time settings. If you use it for the first time, you can click sync time to perform time synchronization settings. Restore factory settings. There are three options here. Here, restore function parameters refers to the factory parameters for restoring the detection plan and other function settings. Restore calibration coefficient refers to the factory parameter that restores the calibration value.